Hi everyone, Shane Armonroe here, and today we're gonna to look at the next generation of magnetic adapters here from Hansenda. Now we've looked at a couple of these over the years, but this one looks like it's the real deal. 10 gigabits, uh, 4K, 60 HD, along with 100 watt charging. There's a lot of promises to be made here, and we care about three things, the construction type, power rating, and the data transfer speed, which we're gonna look at all three of those today. So unpacking it, there's this weird little holder thing in here. I don't know what that's for, but I bought a pair. They come in pairs and uh, let's take a little closer look. This one is the angled one. You can get ones that are straight and all sorts of things, different uh, wattages. You can see here that this is more like a, uh, a plug, which most of these are pogo pins or something where the magnet can pull the pins out. This is a very different construction than I've seen before. And the way that these two marry up with a very powerful magnet should ensure that these pins aren't pulled out or does any damage to your unit. A lot of people don't like magnetic cables because they can have problems, but I think the construction here looks really, really solid. Now, here is a high rated data cable along with my dot case uh, SSD drive. This is my old 256 gigabyte that I pulled out of my old Steam Deck. And here is a USB-C voltmeter. Now, all of these products are in the description down below. So uh, please check those out. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, test the speed of this drive. Now, the nice thing about these dot cases is this little screen here. It's gonna tell us exactly what the connection is right now. And you can see with the direct connection, it's USB 3.1 max 10 gigabits per second. Okay, so we'll be using this to test with. Now, we are going to use the official brick that comes with the Steam Deck for this test, so 45 watts PD 3.0, and we're gonna plug that into our power meter. I'm gonna plug it into my deck, which is sitting around 57%, if I remember right, and you can see here, we'll wait for it to sort of level out here. We are charging and operational at the same time, and we are pulling through about 43, 44 watts, somewhere in there while it's fast charging. That's great. This is the OLED deck, by the way. So this looks great. This is what I would expect to see coming from the official charger. And you can see here that it will be charged in about 55 minutes, 53 minutes right in there from 54%. That's, again, that's what we're hoping to see here. Now let's go ahead and uh, use our brand new magnetic adapter. So we're gonna plug the little uh, stem in here right into the USB-C port fits right on in there, nice and snug. There's a tiny bit of protrusion, but not too much actually, not too much at all. I could live with that. And we'll clip on the magnetic plug and we'll plug it in through the power meter. And let's take a look here. Yes, here we go. We're looking about the same as we did before, about 43, 44 watts, perfect. And you can see our charging time is about on par, right? Exactly the same as what we saw before, excellent. So that takes care of the power. We know that it's getting sufficient power through, but what about uh, something else, right? We're gonna go ahead and switch over to desktop mode here. Now let's go ahead and plug in this drive through the magnetic adapter. Okay, and let's take a look. Will it tell us it's USB 3.1 or not? Don't worry, we're not gonna take their word for it. We're gonna test it. USB 3.1. Max 10 gigabits, okay, perfect. Okay, this is looking great. We're getting proper power through and we have a good connection through. We're gonna download K-Disk Mark from the Discover Store. So we'll go ahead and start the test. This actually takes quite a bit of time. We're gonna time compress it at 20X so that we can get the results in a quick amount of time. This is much better than a do-it-yourself test, right? This is better than copying a file back and forth, anything like that. This is gonna give you real numbers and that's what we want, real numbers. All right, now that we have our numbers, uh, it's time to take this uh, back out and we're gonna need some sort of a tool or if you have fingernails, unlike me, you might be able to pull it out that way. Now let's plug the drive in directly and see what our speeds look like there. Once again, we will find the drive and we will start the test. Once again, we're gonna speed up through this. We don't want uh, we don't wanna to have to sit here and wait. Now this is read, write, random reads and writes. It's a really good disk test if you really wanna see the speeds. And so we compare our speeds with the dot case and they are within tolerance, perfect. Well, these look pretty good actually. Uh, I'll get another uh, closer up look here so that you guys can get sort of a better look at these things together. 
I really think that these are gonna be okay in terms of construction. I don't think those pins are coming out. I think this construction, this sort of next-gen construction is a lot better than the old Pogo pins and a lot of the old ones that people warn you against. And uh, they are definitely holding up to what they should be doing. And I like them, I like them a lot. I don't know what this thing is for though. There's nothing to hook it to. However, if you want something different like straight or up to 140 watt ratings, up to 240 watt ratings, I don't know what you're doing with that, but you can uh, get these in numerous configurations and uh, wattages, obviously you only need 100 watts if you're going to be using it on the Steam Deck. So yes, variety is the spice of life. Hey, listen, I love these things. I hope you do too. They're cheap, they're under 25 bucks. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time.